It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to my review of the Oakley Flak 2.0 sunglasses. I really like these glasses. I've had them for two years and have really appreciated using them. For me personally, these are not just sunglasses. They are prescription sunglasses, and that's an important thing. I wear glasses every day, all day long, and I really hate contacts. <clears throat> They're just not comfortable for me. And so I, I wanted a pair of sunglasses that looked stylish, that I appreciated the quality of the glasses, but also were prescription. And the Oakley Flak 2.0 are the sunglass frames and lenses that I chose to purchase. And I've been very happy uh, with my purchase. They're a little bit expensive, but all good things are. So I, as I've used them here over the last two years, if I haven't been able to break them, I imagine you probably won't. There's a reason why my channel's called The Gear Tester. That was a nickname I was given my late teens, early 20s, because I seem to break a lot of camping equipment and stuff. So if I haven't broken them, it's likely you won't break them. I just want to talk a little bit about some of the things I really appreciate about these sunglasses in this review, and then some things that I've had to deal with or problems that these glasses have caused. First of all, you can get the lenses in a lot of different colors. You can get them polarized. You can get all kinds of things going on with the lenses. What I appreciated about the Oakley Flak 2.0 and, and other Oakley sunglasses was that you could get a curved lens that was also prescription, not just a basically a flat lens or very similar to a flat lens like these are. This is actually curves around the eye. Now that I wear glasses, one of the things I miss is I've lost some of the peripheral vision here on this side because I don't have a prescription there because these lenses are a lot flatter. When I purchased these, one of the reasons I did that was that I get a little bit of that peripheral vision back. So I wear these sunglasses when I'm doing things like uh, hiking, driving, skiing, snowboarding, and when I'm doing things like shooting or hunting. And so I like getting a little bit more of that peripheral vision. That's helpful when I'm driving, that's helpful when I'm snowboarding, that's helpful when I'm out hunting or when I'm uh, target shooting with my friends. So I, I've been really happy with these glasses. One of the beautiful things about these glasses I, in many Oakley sunglasses that you can pop the lenses out, okay? In a couple months when I get a new prescription for my glasses, I'll be able to order these lenses from Oakley with my new prescription and be able to snap them in and easily replace these. They go back in very easily. You snap them in like this. And, and so, one thing you may be worried about is, oh my goodness, if they snap in and out that easily, how do you not lose the lenses? Here's the interesting thing. It wasn't until uh, preparation for this review that I snapped them out for the first time since having them in two years. There was no reason to take the lenses out of my glasses because I had no reason to do it and they've never popped out. Even when I take the, took these snowboarding here, fell down and uh, on the ground, they never popped out. There are never any problems there. So they pop in and out easily, but, but not so easily that they're gonna pop out and you're gonna lose them, at least in my personal experience. One of the things that's different about these Oakley frames and mini Oakley glasses is that they have a straight portion here on the frame, the earpiece, rather than a curved earpiece like that. And that is different, and originally I was a little uncomfortable with that. I thought, man, are these gonna pop off of my face? Are they gonna fall off? because they don't drop down here in the back and give me a little more friction over my ear. That's not been a problem. These, these have good pressure this way on your head and not so much that it's painful, but the right amount so they don't pop off your head. This rubber is grippy and you can change these rubber portions out for different colors if you so desire. Because this part of the frame, the, the portion that goes over your ear is a little bit thicker, I have encountered one problem when it comes to shooting sports. And you might also encounter this problem if you're wearing these when you're using a chainsaw or mowing your lawn. And that is when I'm wearing earmuffs, because this is larger and thicker here, it goes over the top of my ear, it tends to break the seal around the earmuff around my ear so I don't have nearly as good hearing protection, right? And in this way, there's a lot thinner. You can see the difference here between the little portion that goes over your ear there. You can see that. So that's just a reality that you're gonna encounter you know, maybe 
Maybe there are, I know that there are ear cups that you can get that have a slot cut for sunglasses so it doesn't break the seal as much, but that's just the only real drawback that I've encountered with these is the use of over the ear hearing protection is a little bit less successful because of the size of this piece that runs over your ear. If you like this review, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.